Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is G. Glender and this is going to be part two of Flipping the Lost Trip. So, Tiffany decided that she didn't want to be with David anymore and it took David by surprise. And he like, what are you talking about? You don't want to do this anymore. She said, because I'm tired of being second best. I thought that I can handle it, but I handled it pretty good for a long time, and it just like I'm by tired of it. So he said, "Little girl, you knew what you was getting into when you got with me. So what are you talking about? You don't want to do this no more. You who you think you dealing with? You know what I'm saying? I don't go there. There, what you don't want to do?" She said, "Well, I'm just telling you, I don't want to do it no more." I'm not going to do it no more. Remember, David, you said marry me. Don't forget that. He said, well, I'm a married man and not. You ain't going nowhere. But she said, who for you to tell me what to do? He said, I'm your man. She said, well, you was my man. But not no more. So, he said, I don't know what you up to. But I'm going to tell you, little girl. I'm not to play with. I'm not the one to play with. You my woman. You said you want to be my woman. I told you exactly how I felt about you. Oh, now you want to talk about what you don't want to do no more. Who you think you're dealing with, little girl? She said, first of all, I'm not a damn little girl. I'm a, a full-born woman. He said, little girl. She said, don't be calling me no little girl. I'm not a little girl. He said, like I said, little girl, who you think you're dealing with? She said, David, I told you I'm not going to do it no more. Now, you can be with, with Patricia all you want, your daughter. I'm not going to stop you from being in her life. But I am not going to do this no more. You know, I'm grown now. I know what it's like, you know, to be a lover. But I don't want to be a lover no more. I want to be a wife. And I told you I'm not going to come between you and your wife because that's not me. So it's time for me to move on and uh, find me somebody that I can call my own. So, David, it was fun for the ride. Now it's time for me to get off the miracle ride. Little girl, I'm in love with you. I didn't want it to happen, but somehow you got up under my skin. And so now I want to be with you. We will be together or else. She said, what do you mean as or if? What the or else supposed to be? He said, you ain't going nowhere, little girl. You my woman. I told you my wife don't mean nothing to me no more. I want to be with you. She said, I told you. I'm not interfere with your family. I'm not going to come between them. I'm thinking move on, David. And that's all to it. So you might as well face the facts. It was a nice ride. And it's time for me to get off the miracle ride. So step off, David. And he grabbed her. Who you think you're talking to? He, she said, let me go. Let me go. He said, I told you, little girl, I'm in love with you, and you ain't going nowhere. You is mine. You belong to me. I'm the one brought you out like that. She said, oh, yes, you did brought me out, and I learned from the best. So now I know what it takes to keep a man and get a man. Thank you, David, for the lesson, because that's all it was, a lesson. And he, he got ready to hit her. She said, oh, you bold enough to hit me? He said, no, no, I need to calm myself down. I need to calm myself down. So, she like, David, I love you. And we gonna, we not going to be together no more. And that's all to it. it, it, it it's, it's, it's over. He said, little girl. I would do anything for you. I ain't never felt this way about a woman. 
And he said, I don't know how you were able to get up out of my skin, but you did. And I want to be with you. I can let all this go. And it can just be only me and you. She said, no, no, I don't want that, David. I don't want that. And I want to be to myself, me and my daughter, our daughter. I will not keep her from you. But it's time for me to find myself now. I done went through all this dirt with you. You exposed me, knowing how much I was in love with you. But uh, it's time for me to, like, move on. And you gone on with your wife. He said, look, little girl, what the fuck did I tell you? You ain't going no fucking where. You with me. You belong to me. She said, I don't belong to you. I used to be belong to you, but now, now I'm not belong to you with nothing. So you need to get your fucking hands off of me. He said, what I said. And he thought maybe if he hit her, that like put a little fear to her. And so he didn't hit her hard. He just barely tapped her face. He said, listen to me. She said, oh, you think that's supposed to scare me, John? She said, I just got a thrill off of that. So if that's what you thought, you don't put fear in me. That don't work with me. You know what I'm saying? You took all the fear out of me when you had me on that fucking street. So that don't move me. He said, what is going to take? What is going to take? And she said, you me tell you what's really going on. She said, I don't fear you no more, David. It's just nothing there. I don't lost interest to you. I seen this guy and I really want to get with him. He don't have no one. He don't have no kids, no wife. And I want to be with him. And he's been talking to me, telling me everything that you were telling me. And I love it. And I want it. And I'm going to be with him. And he snatched her. Look, you ain't going no damn way. You ain't giving up to nobody. You belong to me. And that's what I said. And you hear me, you hear me good. She said, David, it's over. And it's a done deal. So I'm getting ready to go. I will maybe, maybe I will talk to you later. But uh, I have a date. Yes, yes. You know, oh no, no. And we don't have an open relationship because I won't cheat on him. And I really want to get to know him. And I think this might be who, what I need. My own man. So he, she said, I'll see you later. And so he left. And then she, she met up on Sally. And she was all mad and stuff. She said, I said, girl, what's wrong with you? You know, you had like you don't had a fight or something. Look at you. What's wrong with you? She said, girl, I just broke it off with David. She said, girl, you did what? Excuse me. She said, you did what? She said, yeah, I just broke it off with him. She said, why? She said, girl, I met this man named Sam. Man, I thought I had it for a table. I don't know what it's about him. And he's, he, he average. You know what I'm saying? He's average. You know, but he's nice and kind and gentle. And this is what I need. And she said, girl, I'm going to tell you, you do not need Sam. She said, why you say I don't need Sam? She said, you don't need Sam. She said, why? Because you just don't need Sam. And so her and Sam had really started hitting it off and everything. And then she started talking all that old negative stuff about Sam. And then she jumped from Sam. Then she started talking about David. She said, girl, I noticed. What's up with you and David? You always talking about how David ain't no good and David ain't this. And David ain't there. So, so what's up with you and David? What, what's that all about? And so she like, uh, no, it ain't nothing. She said, yes, it is something. So what is it? She said, uh, 
uh, she said, uh, what? You know, like that. She said, girl, I'm going to tell you, I done fell in love with David. She said, what? She said, yeah, me and David been, we've been, we've been seeing each other almost a year now. I said, wait, 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 you tell me, you've been sleeping with my man for a year? She said, no, it ain't like we going together. You know, you was telling me how it felt it when he had you out on the streets and I was listening to how you liked it and stuff. And so I wanted him to put me out on the street. And so that's what, that's what he did. And oh my God, I didn't know it would feel that way. You know, so we've been kicking it and he been put me out on the street and we've been making love also. We've been making love. She said, girl, you know what? I don't care. You can have that because I got something on the side. Have a lot better than him. I got Sam now. And you want to do me like that? You got me all messed up. You know, get the hell on away from me. And she said, well, girl, I can't help it. You the one brought it to my attention how good he was in bed and how he was doing you. And it made me curious. I wanted to see what he was all about. I'm sorry. You know, it happened like that. But it just happened. And when he did it, you know, I'm like, forget the, uh, uh, Trisha shit, forget that mess. You know, I can do this myself. So, Tiffa was mad as hell. She said, girl, you the only, my only friend that I really have that I can trust. And I was telling you everything about him and now you gonna go sleep with him and get with him? But you know what? Y'all deserve each other. You ain't nothing but a hoe. Yes, I'm gonna say you a hoe and an ugly hoe at that. You know, and so she said, that's okay. I'm getting what you got. I said, let me tell you one fucking thing. Honey, I can get him anytime I get there, but I don't want that used good no more. I got me something better. So she like, fuck off. You know, I'm done talking to, to you. You know, you ain't nothing but old sneeze ass hoe. And I really thought you were my friend. You gonna do this to me? Why? And so after that, she was going on down. She left her and stuff. And she was going to what Sam was, and she seen David. And she said, oh, so David, so you don't got with my girl, huh? That's how you gonna do me? He said, well, baby, I needed more money. And you had like, you didn't want to put it out no more. And you said you were done. And so, hey, she like she wanted to do it. So, hey, yeah, I tipped over there, and we got it going on. And so she my girl now, my hooker. She said, well, you know what? Y'all deserve each other. And he said, you know what? I got my eye on you. When it's time for me to get you back, you will come back to me. I don't give a damn who you with or how you with. You will come home to me. Or you're going to have consequences. She said, what do you mean? I'm going to have consequences. She said, it's over, David. You got your little piece of trash and your wife, so you be happy you are gone with your life, man. Because I am happy. Me, me and Sam is together. You know, we get ready to buy our own place and everything. He's getting ready to put me in a nice home, not even little skinky ass hotel, you know, uh, apartment, a real home. So, this is how it's going to be. I'm happy. Now, you deal with your little situation, what you got on the side. Now, you go on and be with her. Because I'm happy who I'm going to be with. And ain't nothing or you or nobody going to get in my way of being happy, David. You know, like he said, Tiffany, I love you. I love you, girl. He said, I don't know what, what, how, how this happened. But you the first woman that I can ever say that I love you. With everything in me, I told you I'm willing to give everything up. I told you, David, I didn't want you to give nothing up. I'm not that type of person. Okay, yeah, me and you was tipping, but I never interfered with you and your wife, your family. So I told you, it's a done deal. He said, it ain't no done deal till I said it's a done deal. He said, you go ahead on and be with your little dude. 
I ain't gonna get in the way God still have my family. But we will be together. Regardless, we're gonna be together. I'm not letting you go. She said, Oh, yes, she is gonna let me go, come, baby, honey. I already tapped that, and it was nice and good. And hey, he gonna erase you all out of my mind. Oh, can't nobody erase you, babe, out of your mind. So you can stop that. You can stop that. She said, It's already happening. When he was touching on me and caressing me like he really loved me. And, uh-uh, no, no more, David. No, no, no more, David. No more. So, it's a done deal. It's a done deal, David. He lost, honey. Thank you for molding me into a woman. But you know what? It's a done deal. Thank you. You ain't going no fucking well. Listen to me. He started shaking on her. She said, you can shake all you want because it ain't doing no good. Eventually, you're going to have to let me go. You ain't going nowhere. I just went out there and bought us this mansion for me and you can live in and I'm a daughter and you tell me I ain't nothing. You coming with me. You coming with me. She said, I'm not going with you, David. So leave me alone. Me and Sam, done, we having a good time together. We're going to have a good life. You're going on with Sally and, and your wife because I'm done. I am done. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing you can say or do to make me come back to you. So, that's what it is. I am a man. If it feels so good to be in love so bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, man, it do feel so good to be love so bad. But yeah, so she got up on the David skin. And she flipped the strip on that old man. Now he running behind her like a little wet puppy. And she letting him have it too. Oh, she was just flying with this new man. He was loving her. And he was like a little whip dog, start drinking and carrying on and stuff, start using drugs and shit. Like, what the hell happened to this man, girl? That little kitty, kitty, kitty. Got old two him, you know? And so he was like constantly driving by her house, driving by her house, just sitting out there, stopping her every move, every chance, all drunk, staggering all along and stuff. And she said, David, baby, it ain't no work, honey. It is not gonna work. So she decided, she said, I'm getting ready to go into the house. And I don't know what else to tell you, David, but it's not going to work. It's a done deal. You go ahead on get with Sally and your wife, and I'm done. I told you, I done moved on. I done moved on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is part, this is the end of part two of Flipping the Love Strips. And so it will be a part three Uh flipping the love strips and oh yes I do not have the copyright to this song and if you like this this video give me a, a liking and a try and so here we go the kiss look up look down say love stay strong the love the world go round and round Bye-bye. It is so good to be in love, ain't it? Yes, it is. That love is on joke. This is really not my job. Make you do anything for love.
Oh my God, I think I've been there my own self. <laughs> oh, yes, I have. Jiggling the been there, okay? <laughs> well, but in here, it said do it to me once again. Bye-bye.